from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800. Eight six six. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Uh, this is a very, uh, what we call a high concept of the entertainment industry. You know what a high concept is? No, you probably don't. High concept is a very simple, easy to grasp concept. No big, long explanation necessary. In fact, to give a big, long explanation would just simply be repeating myself over and over and over, telling you the same thing. So I'm going to make this really simple. Your girl is expecting a big, fat, expensive, or elaborate Christmas present. Now, it could be the engagement ring. We've talked about that. Maybe that's what she's expecting. Maybe she's expecting something else expensive. That luxury car with the big bow tied on top of it. You know, some kind of expensive jewelry. You know, of course, if I had a girlfriend living with me, I'd be giving her a pearl necklace for Christmas. <laughs> Just so you know. By the way, ladies, if you get the tennis bracelet, I'm letting you know, if you get the tennis bracelet, it's because he's having an affair right now. I just want you to know, anybody who gets a tennis bracelet, he's cheating on you. And he knows that he'll buy himself a good six months of peace. Why would a man buy you a bracelet made out of a bunch of diamonds? Unless he had something to hide. What man What man in his right mind would spend that kind of money on a gift? Somebody who's screwing around. And the reason I'm revealing this secret on the air is because I don't want you morons spending that kind of money on her. If you need to screw around, just leave her. Leave her. All right, so she's expecting an expensive gift. Could be the car, could be the tennis bracelet, could be the diamond ring, could be the diamond earrings... Could be the house in the suburbs. And God only knows what kind of expensive gift she is expecting. But she's going to get something very different. Divorce papers, gift wrapped. Something really cheap like a gift card to TGI Fridays. <laughs> or um, Applebee's. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's not exactly what she was expecting. How about the, uh, seriously, the gift card for the 99 cent only store? Have you seen that? Here in LA, we have a chain called 99 cent only stores. They're like Dollar General in the rest of the country. They actually have gift cards there. <laughs> I wonder if they cost 99 cents. I mean, everything in the store is 99 cents, right? Well, actually, 99 cent only store started off as everything was 99 cents. Now everything ends in 99, which kind of defeats the purpose. I don't want to go in there and buy something for 7.99. That's kind of not what I went for. But all right, she's expecting some. All right, so as I said, it's high concept, and I'm not going to waste a lot of time describing this. I want you to tell me the expensive gift she's expecting to get. And the Christmas gift she's actually going to get. Tom, Tom, Tom Likas. Tom Likas? Likas. Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I do have to tell you that I think that your comments were extremely rude. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's 
The Tom Likas Show. High concept edition of 1 800 5800 Tom. What expensive gift is she expecting to get? And what gift is she actually going to get? 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father, how are you doing today? Son, I'm doing great. Good to hear. Good to hear. Hey, uh, first off, we're going to catch that bitch who peed on your uh, your uh, front porch there. I'm, uh, on, I'm. You know what? I feel really good about this. I'm on the lookout in the 562, and I'm familiar with the 626 area code, so I'm on the lookout. Very nice. Well, there's, there's some jewelry that's called, I don't know why it's called Tiffany, named after some crazy woman, man. And her boxes are light blue, and it seems that women love and flock to this stuff like it's cocaine or something, man. <laughs> yeah. But uh, she she definitely wants Tiffany. She gives me a big list, and uh, that's number one on it. And so, you know, yeah, I went to Tiffany, and, and I'm thinking about it and going, man, $250 is pretty steep, you know. So I, I go to the lady, and I look real, you know, nice at her, and I say, hey, what's the cheapest thing you got in here? And she looks at me like, cheap? What do you mean cheap? You know, I'm going, the cheapest thing you have. And she goes, well, this right here, I think it's like 25 to 50 bucks. It's a calendar. So she's getting Tiffany, all right. But it's going to be a calendar. It's not actually going to be silver or white gold. <laughs> I love that. How do you think she's going to react when she gets her gift? I don't know. Um, she's probably just going to have to take that. I mean... She can get mad, but I can use the calendar, you know, or I can give it to somebody else. That's Perfect. Funny. Give it to, uh, give it to the next chick. By the way, the next chick would be happy to get it. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, would you go ahead and take me out Kobe Bryant style, uh, Halle Berry style? Which one? Uh, Kobe, Kobe Bryant followed by Halle. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Again, a high-concept show. Very simple to understand. Well, what's the expensive gift she is expecting to get for Christmas? What is the cheap piece of crap she's going to get? Stephen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How you doing? Do you care? Of course I do. Wouldn't be asking. I'm doing great. Hey, uh, picture this. My girlfriend, she straight out told me she wanted a $1,200 Juicy Couture bag. I, I, I froze. I can't believe she had the audacity to ask me for that. Really? And what did she do to deserve that? Not a goddamn thing. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> She's not juicy enough. No. No woman deserves a $1,200 handbag. <laughs> now get this. One of my buddies, I was telling him about it, and he told me about these cheap knockoffs, and he actually hooked me up with this guy. Same... Same, well, looking anyway, $45 for a bag that looks exactly the same. I'm kind of hoping she figures out it's a knockoff. <laughs> now, is this your girlfriend, Stephen? Yeah. What are you doing with a girlfriend? You're 22 years old. Well, see, that's what I'm hoping she figures out it's a knockoff. That, that would be a perfect way to, to dump her. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, Stephen. Can you blow me up, Tom? Here you go, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. This is a high-concept hour here. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jeff. How you doing, buddy? Doing okay. Great. Yeah, I've got one of these uh, high-maintenance uh, broads that wants everything under the sun. And uh, she's expecting coach purses and perfume and all this other high-end stuff. And it's like, no, nah, I don't think so. We're going to kick her to the curb. Really? Yes, sir. And you're going to do it on Christmas morning? 
you know, maybe I'll do it Christmas Eve. That way she can stew over it Christmas morning. <laughs> I love that. Oh, Tom, you, you, you have to give my long lost brother, by the way, too. We are so close in age and ideals and, and values. So this is a long-time listener, first-time caller, by the way. Well, I'm so glad you called, Jeff. I really am. Good luck dumping that bitch on Christmas Eve. And you How have festive. A great holiday, sir. And you too. Hey, take me out to flush me, okay? I'll flush you. Here you go, baby. Thanks, buddy. Mm hmm. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. All right, she's expecting an expensive gift. What is it? She's getting a piece of crap. What is it? Gary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Gary. Hey, my uh, girlfriend. She she expected a lot. You know, she's one of these materialistic type women. She expected, uh, you know, some big extravagant gift for for extravagant gift for uh, Christmas. Uh, she wanted to go to Puerto Vallarta for uh, New Year's. Of course, wanted me to pay for the whole thing. Hotel and everything was about two grand. Her birthday is in January, like the beginning of January. And, of course, Valentine's Day is after that. I just kind of drifted off. I told her I had some uh, business I had to take care of. I had to go out of town. And pretty much I'm going to avoid her probably until March. So That's a good idea. Get Valentine's Day out of the way and all of them. Exactly. She's calling me. She's going, where are you? Where, you know, what are you doing? Well, I'm just on business. I'm taking care of a lot of things. I'm actually thinking about getting involved with a new company and a new business, and she wants to know what I'm doing and everything. I'm really generic about everything, but uh, basically, I just, I'll be, I'll, I told her I'd be back in March. I love that. <laughs> so, uh, Tom, the other thing I wanted to ask you is, how can you be on the radio more often? I, I listen to a lot of talk radio and everything, but uh, I just like to listen to you mostly. Well, I, they I, have to pay me more. Okay. All right. There's nobody you can write to or anything like that? or Who can do what? There's no way you can write to somebody and say the well, station. Or well, you can write like to that. the station, but they're going to have to pay me. Now, they do I make the most of, uh, of what I provide. Uh, they do repeat our show a lot in Los Angeles. Uh, two hours of the show are repeated from 3 to 5 a.m. every night. Right. Uh, also, on Sunday night, I believe they run the show all night long, like midnight to 5 or something like that. Uh -huh. And uh, we also have our wine show on Sunday night, Tasting Room, which is on from 7 to 9. Right. Um, right. And I think there's other times on the weekend. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you're on a lot, but it's still not enough. You know what I mean? Well, it's going to cost somebody because otherwise I got other things to do with my time. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tom, for your infinite wisdom and help. And help. Thank you, Gary. May I just be on twenty four seven? I can just do the show from home in my gym shorts. Just hang out there. Have the remote control in one hand with the mute button on and uh, <laughs> microphone in the other hand. And I can hear the sound of urine against my front door. <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, very simple. It's a high concept. What is the yes? What is the uh, expensive gift? The high end gift she's hoping to get for Christmas, and what is she actually getting? The cheap piece of crap you're actually getting her. Pete on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Pete. How you doing, bud? Hey, I I'm. My wife wants this leather jacket from Nordstrom, six hundred and fifty bucks. I'm getting her an electric toothbrush, one of those Sonic Care things. An electric toothbrush, really? There you go. Wow, that's, what, that's the way it's going down. And that's it. That's it. Look oh, at you. you. Got a couple little sweaters and whatnot, but that's that's it. That's the big thing. Sounds good to me. Hey, uh, take me out, Lacey Peterson style. All right, tasteless, but we will. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. That is our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning into the Tom Likas show. 
I want to know the name of the gift that uh, she's expecting to get, the really expensive thing that she had the gall to ask for, and the really cheap piece of crap that you're actually getting her. Eric, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Yes, sir. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Thank you, Eric. Absolutely. Yeah, she's expecting something expensive from uh, Tiffany & Company. So uh, what I did today is I went down, I bought the packaging from Tiffany & Company store, and then I went to Mervyn's and bought her some CZs to uh, go ahead and throw in that box because I found out she was dating somebody else. Oh, good for you. I love the yes, CZ sir. content. I wonder how many guys do that. That's a show we got to do uh Maybe uh, in the new year we'll do that topic. How many of you uh, just said the hell with it? I'm getting her CZ, and if she ever notices, then she's an avaricious little creep, and I, I shouldn't be with her anyway. Absolutely. I mean, if she goes to get it checked out, it's not my problem, but if she does, yeah, I mean, what, out. Well, yeah, that, That's a question I, I have. Since so few people I know even have homeowner's insurance or apartment insurance, what is she going doing? what is she doing going and taking that ring in to be appraised? What's the purpose of that? Uh, just to see how cheap I might be, which I hope she That's what it's all cheap. about. <laughs> hey, Tom, I appreciate your show. I love it. Can you take me out Brian Whitman style? What would that be? Uh, wouldn't that be the crybaby with the... Uh, I think, well, actually, we have it. <laughs> there we go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And now on the Tom Likas Show, this special holiday greeting for one of the members of our staff uh, here at the Tom Likas Show. You don't have to call me back, honey, but I must say I cannot hold back. But I must, And I know you did it the other year, this whole uh, dead thing, but I think you should be ashamed of yourself, and I don't think you should be a part of it next year. I think uh, if I was Farrah Fawcett, and I'm doing my best to try to stay alive, and I hear people are betting me dying, uh, that year, I think it's really pretty damn disgusting, and I would not be proud of it. It's not even a joke, not even a funny on on uh, you know that uh, on the show. It's just it's not you, and it's not right. I know it's not you. Don't do it again. I love you. Bye. Oh, it very definitely is him, Mrs. D'Amelio. No doubt about it. You don't know him like we know him. <laughs> Though if you keep listening, you will. <laughs> yes, that's Dean J. D'Amelio's mom calling in. I wonder what kind of call there was after the Louisville Slugger incident. Honey, why are you swinging a bat at people? That's just not you. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, nice to know the parents are listening. And you what? It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. All right. Uh, what is the high priced big ticket item that she has requested uh, for Christmas? And what cheap piece of crap are you actually getting for her? This is Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I um, I just want to let you know she's uh, she's been bitching for a for a tummy tuck for for a while. So instead, I'm going to give her a uh, yoga Pilates ball with an instructional DVD. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, maybe she'll finally do something and, you know, she don't have to do the tummy tuck spent. By the way, dollars. you know what I would get somebody who needs a tummy tuck? What, a, a new address. <laughs> All right, hey, Tom, can you uh, take me out of uh, African tribal style? Yes, Chris, here you go. Baninge, 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 solo penza. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. <laughs> Just amazing stuff coming in here. All right, uh, she asked you for some big ticket item for Christmas, but she's getting a piece of crap. What is it? Jay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Good. Actually, it's kind of a little different. My girlfriend's buying me a bunch of stuff, which I know what it is, but she doesn't want anything for Christmas. Should I still get her something? She doesn't want anybody. You got to remember now. If this is a girlfriend, yeah, this is a a woman tactic. Okay. Oh, don't worry about me. I don't need anything for Christmas. No, yeah. just want to be with you, honey. 
Yeah, she uh, doesn't want me to spend any money on her, but she'd buy me like a diesel watch and right. buy me an annual pass to Disneyland. So Trust me about- when I tell you that... Uh, and again, I personally, my attitude about this is I don't believe in indulging women in these games. So uh-huh. if a woman tells me she wants nothing for Christmas, that's exactly what she would get. I was thinking about getting her Starbucks gift card. Well, like she said she dollars. wanted. She said she wanted nothing. No, you see, that's like even two cents for the waitress instead of nothing. <laughs> you, know, you might get those pennies thrown at you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if she said she wants nothing, then you know you could get nothing. Because I think once you indulge her and say, oh, honey, I know you said you wanted nothing, but I got you this watch anyway. I mean, you're indulging her in that game playing and that, well, he should know what I'm thinking. If he doesn't know what I'm thinking, then maybe we're not meant to be together and all that other nonsense that women pull. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. At least I don't have to spend any money this year like I did last year. Right. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Cool deal. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ali on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. You're not going to believe I have a good surprise for you. Really? Yes, I dumped the bitch after nine years of marriage. I love that. And it was last week. I went for a trip for two months. And they came back and they said, I hate you. I don't want to be with you. And I am free. I am a bird. I free like a bird. I love that, Ali. Thank you so much. That's so great. How does it feel? Oh, my gosh. I did not sleep last week I, at all with the happiness. And I roll over my bed. And I by myself, I don't have anybody to say, turn off the light. Turn on the switch. The, 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 shut the door. Where were you? Are you coming? Are you going? Oh, my God. You taught me the right thing to do, Tom. Now, Ali, tell me this. Uh, how long were you married? Nine freaking years. Nine years. So you, nine, so you got it. Years. You know, after ten years, they make you pay alimony forever. So you got in under the wire. That's good. Well, you know why? Why? Because I listened to my dad. I love that. And I am, I am, I am, I am an international listener. And since they moved in to to, to America, they say listen to your daddy. Then to ninety seven point one, and that's what I've been doing. I think that is spectacular. So how did she react when you dumped her? Oh, my gosh. Uh, you're not going to believe she was. Oh, you're going to leave me. Oh, I'm going to be by myself. You know what? Go to hell. I don't want any grandma behind my shoulders. I don't want her. May dad say, dump that bitch. <laughs> Ali, are you getting more ass than a toilet seat? Well, it has been only one week, so I moved with a roommate. And last night I was I was making my way to the roommate, and she's mine. There is no question that. Really? Oh, definitely. Wow. You, oh my gosh! You told me if I went to university, I wouldn't learn what I learned from you every single day of the week, Tom. I am so proud of you. Now, can you do me a favor? What's that, Ali? Because I'm African, can you take me out African style? African tribal style, yes I can. It's Destiny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Destiny. Okay, I have a problem with all this. By the way, is Beyonce your child? I'm just curious. Uh, no. Okay, no. I'm just checking. Yeah, I've gotten that a lot. Um, but I have a problem with all this, the whole um, some bad bitch, the whole thing for Christmas or whatever. Yes. Because I think that men that break up with their women right before like a holiday or a birthday or something, they're shallow. They're they're pussies. They're they so they hide. should they should wait until after what date and then break up with them. No, they should break up with them when they feel like it, but they shouldn't have to wait, like, right before. Like, that guy that called earlier that said that he's going to break up with her on Christmas Eve. That's, like, hiding. That's, like, a little kid. Sounds like, well, he could very well be angry at her, and he might have good reason to be angry at her, for all we know. 
Okay, if he's angry at her, why doesn't he break up with her right now instead of wait till then? Or like that man. Maybe that he like, wants to get I, back at her because she's been so mean to him. Or maybe because she's been holding out uh, sex on him or who knows what. Oh, okay, well, why didn't he say something like that? They, they say it so proudly. It's it's just, it's childish. It really, it really is. Men that do that are very childish. They are... Well, then that woman is really lucky that he dumped them, uh, isn't, uh, isn't she? Yeah, that woman is really lucky. Oh, there you go. Be- because they don't have to be that person. But th- these men are, like, messing with their feelings, with emotions. So like, what? Oh, what about, you think women I, don't? I, you think women don't mess with men's feelings and emotions? Yes, some women are men, many, many, many women do that. So it's just it's bull that that these men are doing this, and then with the gifts when you have them call it in, like, like okay, I I agree with you that some women deserve the gifts that they're going to get, like the Tiffany's and like the expensive ones. But with when you're with someone. That you're truly in love with and you're married to and you're like give him a piece of crap gift then that's that's kind of like what what happened you know you know what i mean all i'm saying is that some of these women don't deserve to get christmas gifts yeah. and they some certainly and they certainly have a lot of nerve putting in orders like they're calling domino's pizza uh, well, for diamond like orders, rings but... and, and liposuction and breast augmentation. Who do they think they are? Well, like, when a man says, what do you want for Christmas? You're lucky to, to get anything. Any, all you women out there, hey, hey, you know what, ladies? You're lucky, lucky to get anything, you bitch. It's called a gift. Okay, but when when someone asks them, what do you want for Christmas? Or what do you want for this? What do you want for that? What are we supposed to say? Sometimes. Like, oh, nothing, honey, nothing. How, well, put it this way. How about you say, I'll leave it to your judgment? Or why don't you pick something you think I'll like? What is it putting in orders for items? Well, what is it with women? By the way, what is it with women? What is it with women who take ads out of the newspaper and start circling, you know, in the case jewelry okay, ads? That's, that's too much. That's too but much. That, right. you, that goes on. What do, you, what do you think this is? You're calling Pink Dot and ordering up some potato chips? I mean, come on. This is outrageous. Well, some men don't have any idea what to get. So don't suggest are... something that costs hundreds or thousands of dollars. Well, liposuction. What, I, what I said to that guy, you know, the more I think about it, if a woman asks me for liposuction or a tummy tuck, what am I doing buying her any Christmas gift? She's lucky to have a home. Oh, my gosh. That's messed up right there. That's messed She's up. She's lucky I don't kick her the hell out. You're shallow. You really nothing are. shallow really about it person. because she would. She, you know, none of these women needed a tummy tuck when we met them. Are you going to get anything for anyone for Christmas this year? Are you oh yes, yes, I'm getting things for people for Christmas. Are they expensive or are it they? It depends like, on the person, and it depends on how much they provide to my life. So if you had a wife or something and she did everything for you, like say if she cooked... She already has everything paid for. You know what? She's got uh, the the mortgage paid for, the electricity paid for, the gas paid for. Uh, She's got satellite television. She's got vacations. Uh, Yeah, she's already getting... uh, Every day is a gift if she was with me. So she's not special enough for you to buy something. No, no. Every day is a gift. Every day she is being treated better than 99% of the women on the planet. She does not need an expensive Christmas gift. No. Okay. So what if she asked you what you want for Christmas and you said something and she gave you a piece of crap? How would you feel? Guess what? I don't care if you give me anything. Okay. I can buy anything I need. And sometimes I think the idea of a Christmas gift is so over commercialized and so overblown. When in reality, all I want is that you think kindly of me on that day. That's, that's and these little, thing. these little avaricious bitches who have their list of juicy couture handbags and and, and nonsense that they want and uh, pink uh, p- puppy bags carry their little puppies around in from Mark Jacobs or whatever. You know what? <laughs> I will never indulge that. Never. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, well, that's really good. I, I agree with you on that part. Like me, I'm not getting anything for Christmas. I don't want anything. I'm not expecting anything because it's just it's pointless. But to the other women that do celebrate Christmas and do, uh, I, I don't know. It's just it's bull that people have to break up with someone on on a day like that where it kind of that means must them. be a very angry person, and they're doing it because they are angry about things that have happened in the relationship. 
I guess. You're These right, things you're don't right. happen in a vacuum, dear. People don't just get, they're not born angry. Things happen. Well, some people are very... I mean, don't you ever think to ask yourself if somebody is that angry that they want to break up with their girlfriend or their wife on Christmas, do you think it's possible that woman really, really got under his skin, really made him miserable for an extended period of time? Well, it doesn't sound like... Let you me tell you something I did. Let me tell you something I once it. did. Let me tell you something I once did. I was once married to a woman who anchored the news on TV in Spanish... Mm -hmm. And I had her served with divorce papers 10 minutes before airtime, right there on the set of the news. Now, if I did that, do you think I did that because I'm just a jerk? Or do you think it's possible that I had inspiration to do that? Inspiration? But what does she do so wrong? To, to make you do that. like you, she, uh, you want to know what she did? She effed somebody else. That's what she did, and I caught yeah, her. That's the good reason. That's, that's not the, reason. But the point is when these guys call it, you don't know what what brought them to this. They don't they don't go through the whole story. They say, well, I'm giving my girlfriend uh, a kick in the ass on Christmas. I'm giving my wife divorce papers on Christmas. We don't know what happened in the marriage, but wouldn't, you, wouldn't your first guess be that that woman must have treated him like a bitch? My first guess is that guy is a jerk. Yeah, but uh, darling, darling, uh, nobody's a jerk in a vacuum. Oh, yes. There's there's many jerks that just change emotions like... like well, uh, for example, in my case, I tell you I'm a jerk and an a-hole up front, and then you can decide whether or not you want to get involved with a jerk and an a-hole. Mm-hmm. I tell no, you, guys but, don't do that. Guys, don't but do most that. Uh, most guys, you, unfor- most people. guys are not jerks in this country. They're they're pussy whipped. They're pussies. Most of the guys in this country are just a bunch of wimps. They tolerate anything. Women stamp their little feet, and guys jump. And b- when women bark, guys uh, guys say, uh, "How high do you want me to jump, dear?" Uh, guys are uh, uh, guys are not jerks enough for God's sake. Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Jesus Christ, Tom, it's great to talk to you. The Tom Likas Show. Woo! It's the Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. It's a high-concept hour of the Tom Likas Show. She's expecting a big gift, a big, expensive, big gift. Tell us give the gift she's expecting. <laughs> Tell us the gift <laughs> that she's actually going to get. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jessica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jessica. How you doing? I'm doing great. All right. So I just wanted to call in and let all your listeners know, don't do it. Don't buy the expensive Christmas gift. It's not worth it. I had a boyfriend for about, we're dating about four months. You know, Christmas time rolls around, getting into the spirit, thinking, all right, you know, I want to get him something nice. I dropped probably about $400 on this guy, buying the seven jeans, the nice watch, the whole works. What happened? Dumped him two weeks later. Don't do it. Really? Yes. And you know what? Another thing that I've learned, my birthday is five days after Christmas. So my whole life, I've been getting those gifts where it's, okay, here's for Christmas and your birthday. Okay, really? So if my birthday was in June, how does that one work? And I've been getting gypped my whole life. So don't do it. Don't spend your money on those expensive gifts. It's not worth it. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Philip on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Philip. Oh, I got a good one for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, My wife is a big Kiss fan, and she wants something really cool, Kiss memorabilia. She found an autographed guitar at the music shop here, and that's what she wants, like four grand. So I figure, well, she wants something that's really cool, that's, you know, just screams kiss. 
I found a pair of the footy pajamas that Gene Simmons wears from the show at Target on their clearance rack. That's her Christmas present. How do you think she'll react when she gets that? She'll look at and go, oh, um, that's nice. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's... She she loves the show. She loves Gene Simmons. She wants she wants something that just that says kiss. She wants to put it on the wall in her office. Now she'll get to wear this one. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Enjoying the holiday season, finding out what expensive gift she asked for for Christmas, and what piece of crap gift she's gonna get. Vince on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, this is Vince. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm a longtime fan of you guys there, Tom. Thank you, Vince. All right, buddy. Hey, guess what I'm giving my wife for Christmas? No idea. All righty. Well, rather than just having her solitude and her usually whatever, she goes out and spends too much money on herself, tomorrow she's getting served a bunch of papers. <laughs> are you serious? It's a DTV Christmas stuff. Watch your mouth, Ron. Oh, sorry end. about that. Sorry about that. How about that stuff? Wow. Yeah. Merry Christmas to us. And huh? uh, tell us, no, no, you must be angry. Remember that call we got a little earlier? You must be angry. Oh, uh, no, I'm not angry. I'm actually quite happy. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, in order to serve her now, it must be because she made you angry. It must be because of the fact that, you know what, I thought about all that she's done for me throughout, the, especially, you know, over the years, but especially this year, I thought, what can I give her that really says, hey, this is what I'm feeling for you. And so I thought that was the perfect thing, and that's what I'm giving her. <laughs> now, do you have a place to go once you give her this gift? Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit back and kind of think about what it's going to be like to actually have my own balls back and to have some of my own money in my pocket again after 20 years of uh, paying out the nose. Amazing. I think it's great. Sounds good to me. All right, Tommy. Hey, take me out, Kobe, man. Here you go, Vince. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue our conversation with Amanda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, I just want to make a comment about those crazy ass girls who are asking for twelve hundred dollar purses for Christmas. Yeah, like what the hell are they thinking? Just go buy yourself. Even if you're married, just take the credit card and go buy yourself. Don't ask for a twelve hundred dollar gift for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, what the hell are these women thinking? Like the, the society that we have today, women think, oh, okay, this, this is the society gonna... I've been telling you about. Jake's yeah. having a sense of entitlement. I know. We, th we think just because we give you sex means we're going to get whatever we want. Yes. That's, that's totally not the case. I can put out all I want. doesn't mean I'm going to get what I want. I understand. <laughs> like, seriously. And I, I give, like, a props. Definitely buy her the fake and hope she finds out it's fake. <laughs> I, lo I love you. I'm a, I just started listening to your show, like, last week. I'm totally in love with you, dude. Ooh. I agree with most everything you say. And some of these girls that are... Or instead of just need to get their songs out of their asses and get into the real world. <laughs> Thank you for that. James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What you doing, man? Still a radio show over here. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, uh, so I think I've got something a little unique here. So, uh, you know, we've got the uh, BMW sales event going on right now. So I do. Uh, I was also there getting my car serviced. And I've been seeing a young girl for a while now. And she says to me, hey, James. Hey, hey, will you buy me a BMW 3 Series? <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. I make, I make some good money, so I, that could be an expectation. So I had my assistant go out and find a BMW 3 Series Hot Wheels on eBay. <laughs> I love it. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show.